And today is a good day, chat. Unboxing stream. Yeah, this is going to be nice, bro. This is going to be nice. You guys have no idea how badly I had to hold myself back yesterday to not open the headset box. Dude, you have no idea, bro. It is here, chat. It is here, chat. Oh, yeah. Sneak flavor of the day. Bitberry Limeade. We got that today. Absolute W flavor. So here is the box, chat. Here is the box, chat. Finally, bro. Finally, bro. I'm so happy now. I'm so excited. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, my God, chat. This is beautiful, dude. This is beautiful. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. What is this? Look, manual. First edition for glory, dude. Amazing. Look at that, chat. Amazing piece of art card thing. Amazing. It's just a piece of cardboard, dude. It's just a piece of cardboard. I like that, dude. I like that. We take those, dude. What do we got? Manual. We don't need that. We are a professional. But if you guys are first time users, we got a manual that you can't even see because the camera is garbage. Now the headset, bro. Oh, my God. First of all, we got a nice little baggity bag here. Oh, man. This is lighter. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Got the SteelSeries logo there. Nice. Looking nice. All right. Let's take all of this stuff out here. So this is the DAC, I think. Oh, yeah. This is update as well. It's a bit smaller, but not as small as I thought it was going to be. That's nice and smooth, the wheel here. I like that. What else do we got? Open this for glory. Okay, I will open this for glory. We got microphone positioning right there. We got the cables and stuff here. Extra battery. Is the other one in the headset? I hope it is. <laughs> I hope it is. And I bet these are the USB-Cs then. Yeah, two USB-Cs. Oh, sorry, you, can't, you guys can't even see that. So we got the USB-C. We got 3.5. That's three cables. And then we got the extra battery. Wow, bro. Wait, this bat these batteries are way smaller than the old ones, dude. And they got more battery life? These are 22 hours, one battery. Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, this is the old battery here. This is the old battery here, dude. This is the new one. They're like, this is like way smaller. What oh yeah, the pop. Oh yeah, the pop filter for the mic, right? So SteelSeries always gives you a pop filter for your microphone. There we go. Absolutely amazing. A windscreen. A windscreen for the uh for the microphone dude let's open up the headset chat we got this nice pouch like mesh oh my god bro look at those chat oh man these these are these feel light they feel lighter than am i tripping they look very nice these ear cups are soft these are super soft actually we got the plates so here we got the battery system yeah, the other battery is here already. Right. Hopefully it's charged a bit. Yeah, yeah. These are so small, though. How is this 22 hours, bro? The plates look nice. These look very nice, chat. Let me show it on this cam. You guys see it here. Um, that metal metal finish to it there. These look very nice. Battery rechargeable? Yes. You charge the battery in this thing. Uh, right there on the side. You put it right there. Get it off, dude. Get it. Ooh! Got the line in. We got the line out. We got two USB, so you can... You can connect to your PC and your like PlayStation, for example, at the same time and then um, switch between them. Oh, man, I got to try these. Also, we got the headband here, which feels even better than the old headband here. Um, but these are retractable now as well. Adjustable like that, which is cool. These feel more higher end, I would say, than the ones that I have now. These just look super clean and nice, bro. These look like you can use these just anywhere, you know? You can use these just anywhere. Just take them out, dude. Let's see, chat. Oh. Oh, these are nice. Oh, that's a comfy fit. I like these, um, these ear cups. Oh, that's so comfy. That feels way different. Let's give you a little look of the headset here. Yeah, this feels very comfy. This feels very comfy. Now, compared to the old one, it looks less bulky. I don't think the size difference is in itself that huge. But it um, it looks a bit... It, it's not so bulky. It doesn't see, scream gamer. Neither do these, but... Um, yeah, these are nice, bro. Oh, man, these are nice. I gotta try. I gotta try. On the neck. Yeah, that's way better. That's way better. It doesn't it doesn't like choke you because it's not it's not so bulky. 
Oh man, and I especially like that the mic is flush. The mic is completely flush here instead of um instead of poking out like this. It looks cleaner. It looks cleaner, it does. It looks way better. We got the Bluetooth button there. Connect your phone, power button, mic mute. Yep. And the volume scroll wheel here. Um 3.5. I think this side has the uh, the charger, the USB-C port there if you want to charge it for some reason with a cable. They have active noise cancellation, transparency mode, or it can just keep that off, kind of like the AirPods Max and AirPods Pros. Um, so they have that as well, which I'm excited to test out. Oh man, the headband is different as well. It doesn't wrap around all the way from the top. It's just down here with these uh, with these locks. It's just down here with these locks. It's just here. But it feels way better. It's like there's more padding on here. It's just not a strap. There's like actual padding on here, chat. Can you see that? What is up, guys? So a little bit of an update here. I've had the headset for about two weeks right around there. And I want to give you guys some of my first impressions and my thoughts on the headset. First of all, the headset feels way lighter on my head. I noticed that instantly when I put it on for the first time is that it feels a bit lighter. It feels like it doesn't clamp down as hard. It feels very good on my head. It's it's like it's not even there. Um, and I love that with a headset. It is super, super comfortable. I've heard some people saying that they have some issues with with the nubs that are inside the ear cup for the ANC and transparency and all that uh, that they hit their ears and stuff I personally don't have that problem I guess I'm lucky and this headset is actually probably one of the only ones where I don't mind the stock ear cups um I love the pleather very nice and soft and cushiony I myself prefer leather or pleather ear cups um that's just how I am even I just don't notice my ears getting that hot you know I just don't notice it uh, but these are way better than the old stock ones that came with the Arctis Pro Wireless. These are the ones that came with the Arctis Pro Wireless, the old one. Uh, these uh, Airweave material ear cups, and they weren't um, my favorite ear cups. I used these actually for a year or so before I upgraded to Wicked Cushions and got their uh, leather, pleather, whatever it is, um, got their ear cups, and I used those ever since. Also, the headset just has a clean, minimalist look to it. It looks professional. And I always say, you know, I'm a professional streamer, so it's nice to have a professional looking headset. Right off the bat, I also noticed the battery life is majorly improved. Now, I read that it is 22 hours per battery instead of 10 hours or 12 hours, whatever it was on the old one. And you can tell you don't have to switch it that many times. And when you do, you don't even have to turn on the headset anymore because that was with the old one. You take out the battery, it turns off completely. On this one, you take it out. You don't hear audio, but you don't have to turn it on again. So there's like eight seconds, an eight second window where, where you have the time to switch the battery and it doesn't turn off. Everything that I love from the old headset is still here. It's just new and improved. And for me, I would say the upgrade was definitely worth it from the old one. The quality of it feels nice, even though it's mostly plastic. It still feels like it doesn't feel like it's cheaply made or it's gonna break or it's bad um people always worry about the ear cups but in my opinion just take care of the headset and it will last you a long time like my arctis pro wireless i made that headset for four years every single day wore it and no problems at all no breakage now the sound quality i do think that this headset sounds better than the old one also now with the sonar software i never use sonar software with the old arctis pro wireless that i had but now that I've been using Sonar, I really like the EQ. I really like the different presets that they already have in the software ready for you. I'll show you guys right here. So here we have the Sonar software. It's just a SteelSeries engine. And then down here, you can click Sonar and configure it and turn it on. First here, you have your mixer. You set your uh, game and chat. You separate them here. And then have your mic here, master volume, all that. And chat mixes right here, which also you can control from the DAC here but only if you have sonar if you don't have sonar you do not have chat mix now here we have the eq i am currently using the punchy the music punchy i like this preset a lot uh, i've been using this preset a lot while listening to music watching movies and also playing league of legends and i find that this uh sounds very good for me they also have some movie presets here they have a bunch for music and a bunch of different games valorant roblox uh minecraft league of legends gta 5 they have call of duty warzone and i've been playing with this call of duty warzone one and i think it's pretty good 
And of course, if you're an audio file, if you want to adjust these by yourself, you can feel free to do so. Um, you can test sound right here with gaming or spatial. And also when we scroll down here, we got spatial audio. Now I have not tested spatial audio that much. I turned it on and that was really it. I didn't really focus on it that much. I guess I could try and test out like a movie with this and see, see how it goes. See if you guys have a good movie suggestion that you think would be good with spatial audio. Let me know down below in the comments. Then you have your gain and you have smart volume here. Then we have the chat page here. You can have an EQ for, for the chat. Um, there's a bunch of different presets here as well. And then we got clear cast AI noise cancellation. I have not tried this out yet because most of the people that I play with have decent mics. So I don't need to use this. Then we have noise reduction, noise gate, and smart voice there as well. Um, then we have the microphone and here you can adjust uh, the microphone. Now, to be honest, still series headset mics are not the best, but this EQ, I mean, it does help out a little bit. And then down here we have the AI noise cancellation and all the same settings for your mic as well, which will help out a little bit. I only use the headset mic for phone calls. I always have my phone connected via Bluetooth. So that's pretty much it for the thoughts that I've gathered uh, in the couple of weeks. And uh, if you have any questions about the headset or anything else, leave them down below in the comments. I do read all of them. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, leave a comment down below saying RESFAM is the best. And I'll show you guys some love. Make sure you check out the Twitch channel. If you have any questions, you can catch me live there. Come hang out, come chat with me, play some video games. That's what we do. Dominate, baby. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more of me. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe and stay winning.